Hello, I am Dr. Venkatesh Rajkumar, Consultant Nephrologist, Renal Transplant Physician and Consultant Interventional Nephrologist at Apollo Speciality Hospitals at Perungudi OMR. Today we are going to discuss a little bit about an emerging speciality in nephrology called an interventional nephrology. So interventional nephrology is a relatively new field as far as our country is concerned, though it has been uh, there in place in the West for quite some time. So it is uh, the speciality which deals with patients primarily on dialysis. So patients with chronic renal failure or even acute renal failure, they will be needing dialysis. So patients on dialysis, they are expected to have some problems on dialysis as far as doing dialysis is concerned and interventional nephrology tries to address those issues. So most of our patients in our country are on hemodialysis for renal failure because availability of organs, kidneys is very, very limited. So to have a, a good hemodialysis, patients should have a well-functioning what is called an AV or an arteriovenous fistula. So most of the patients on dialysis will be knowing about it. It's for the, uh, for, for, other, for others, it is uh, just an artificial connection between two blood vessels inside our body so that the resultant blood vessel becomes big enough to give adequate blood for it to be purified and to be given, a, given back maybe on a twice or thrice weekly basis. So that is called, that is what is called a fistula. But as time passes by, patients on dialysis are expected to have problems in the fistula. A few common problems include the uh, delivery of blood may not be all that good enough for you to get good dialysis or the fistula develops narrowing, it's called stenosis uh, in due course of time, thereby preventing you from getting good dialysis or when the patients develop stenosis of blood vessels somewhere close to the heart, they can develop a huge swelling of the uh, arm and the face as well. So these are some common problems which happens to patients on dialysis. So interventional nephrology tries to address these issues and tries to correct these issues or even try, tries to prevent these uh, issues. Yeah. To give you a few examples, you can see in the screen a uh, patient uh, with what is called a central venous stenosis. This typically happens to patients who are on dialysis for a long period of time and uh, who had previous catheters placed in their neck. So they develop narrowing of the blood vessels near the heart and consequently they develop huge swelling of the arm. You can see on the other side of the screen what has happened to the patient after we did what is called a percutaneous balloon angioplasty and the stenting. You can see the swelling is gone completely and the patients can return back to dialysis effectively on the same day or even a day uh, or a day later. So that is about central venous stenosis. Similarly, the patients can develop the stenosis of the fistula in the, in the arm as well preventing them from getting good dialysis. So what are the common signs and symptoms the patient will be knowing about the thrill this is the sound which is heard and felt over the fistula when you place your hand over the fistula so a decrease in quality of the uh, thrill or sound over the fistula prolonged bleeding after taking the needle out not getting enough blood for dialysis so these are some common problems associated with the failing fistula and intervention nephrology can try to sort of it can address all these issues